Mark Siglin, manager of the Greetham Bull and Dog football team, and we're here today to play against Wolverston. Um, they've come along uh, to have our opening day uh, for the sports field, which has been an ongoing project for 17 years now. Um, the last two years has been um, intensified with the help and everything we've had from the community. Uh, there's far too many people to thank. Uh, everybody's been involved, and um, we're just hoping that today is going to be a great day, a good game against Wolverston. Um, we thank them for coming as well and making it a special day and we just hope everybody, my team included, enjoys the day and we all go back to the Bull and Dog Pub and enjoy the afternoon as well. For the future we hope to have not only the Bull and Dog football team here, there's already a, a ladies team that's in, 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 they're showing some interest that they would like to play here on a Sunday afternoon. We want to get the kids up as well. Maybe he's got a few kids teams playing from here. And really, just it's all about the community. That's what we've done it for, is to get the community involved. We should have had this pitch in the village years and years ago, and it's never happened. So I'm just so pleased, I'm so proud of what we've achieved. We've uh, run the sports field since 1977. We've got two members that have been here since the off. That's myself and Michael Unwin. And we, uh, we've had a lot to do. 18 years ago, this was a field, a farmer's field, and it was rough. But now, it's a pleasure to be uh, playing here and seeing how it goes. I want to say a big thank you to everybody that's helped us to get this far. We were going to do a list, but there's that many people have done so much in this place. Money-wise, donations, etc., etc. But I'd just like to thank everybody for helping us. You know who you are, and if you haven't already helped, get on board and give us a hand, because we always need new members on the committee. But there's, there's two people that are, well, part of this field now, that have done all this, purchased them, decorated them in 10 years, and I'd just like to put your hands together for a little lad, well, a young lad, not little, well, he is little and young, Mark Sickling, and his wife, Jane. And there's another lad, he's done a lot for the field, which is looking beautiful. Steve Hatby. Head Hat Steve. So can you put hands together for Steve? Can I thank Wolverston FC, the players, the officials, and the supporters for turning up today? We very much appreciate this. You'll go down in Greek and folklore history. And finally, I'd like to hand over to Tommy Miller. <laughs> Shit, he's not here. But see, Michael and myself have been on the committee from day one. We're both going to cut the uh, cord and officially open it. There we go. Yeah. It is now officially open. To win against Wolverson, that's great. Um, lads played fantastic. Unfortunately, Grant missed a few sitters, so I think he's going to get sacked. Um, so, is that, is that, there's our captain there. Look at that. There, there you go. Um, 
and it was just a great performance. I'm over the moon to be just involved with this set of lads. Um, we we just everybody's enjoying themselves. Been a great turnout with a crowd and everything. I can call it a crowd now as well. It wasn't just three or four. There was a proper crowd there. So uh, no, I'm over the moon. I can't wait. I can't wait for the season to start. To be honest, it was a real good performance. So well done, lads.